hello friends uh, today we will check uh, how to validate the email address uh, in dynamic CRM form um, so this is our dynamic CRM uh, portal this is a test portal uh, you know I have uh, uh, taken a trial version online so here I will tell you this is of course um, CRM 2016 version which is available for trial version <clears throat> so let's say uh, go to sales and select contacts suppose let's say create new contact Once you click new contact, it will ask to uh, provide first name and last name. Suppose first name robot and last name is boss. Okay, I'll save it. <coughs> Once you save it, the contact is um, getting saved and suppose let's say in email address i'll give suppose robot dot boss it will just uh, come out of the field then it will tell you that you must enter a valid email address but if you add something like at the rate at the rate x y z and you will go out then crm understands if there is at the rate some value then it is a uh, valid email address but sometimes what happens robot.boss at the rate xyz is not you know uh, correct email address because there is no domain now you should have some dot com or or uh, dot in or dot dot go like that okay but so how to do that because you know uh, the out of the box uh, email validation functionality uh, is not working as i expect so i have to add some more validation on this field so what to do for that let's go to the customize entity uh, if you go to a contact then you will find a customize entity uh, option here customize entity now we'll add an uh, event handler to uh, validate the email address uh, as I expect now go to the forms and open the active main form which is used by the users so this is the active main form double click this and just find the email field this is the email field then double click the email field to open the property window now go to the events and go to the form library add a new form library let's say create new so here we are creating a web resource of type uh, javascript so give a name like contact script let's say it's contact javascript this handles all events for contact entity 
then select the type as javascript okay now open the text editor now here we will write out the function we have a ready made function available with us now go to you know uh, softchip.com So this is a block sheet I have created. So here I have uh, given the script, ready-made script here. If you go down, uh, you will find the script here. So this is email address validation JavaScript for Dynamics CRM. Uh, go down. Yes. So this is the function we require. Now copy this function and. Uh, Go to your every source and paste here. Now I know that the uh, schema name of this field email is email address one. Now that's why I have given email address one here, and I have just copied and pasted the function from softchip.com and copied the copy the function name click ok a web resource with the same name already exist use a different name ok uh, now do one thing uh, as already a web resource with same name is exist so let's change the name customer customer script go to text editor then paste the function sorry we have to again copy uh, copy this and go here and paste again copy the function name it's okay now I have created and let's save and publish so that it will be available for reference every customization has to be published to make it use of now close this and go to the form here so this has been selected for addition now add this and go to event handler section and select add new i have selected the library as customer script that I have created right now and I will paste the function name as validate email and the enable checkbox should be checked now press ok now the function validate email is attached in, on the on chain method of email address now how to check the schema name of a field if you double click the field and go to the detail section if you go to details you will find the name email address one so i have used this uh, name in my function so now save and publish now let me close the customization form now i'll refresh this window dynamic share window so let me open the uh, customer I have just created that is robot boss now if you want to give robot dot boss at that x y z a b c without dot something i mean without domain it will alert you that the email address is invalid see so this is the validation we have added if you press ok it will uh, nullify the email address field now okay now if you click now if you give a name like robot 
the boss and the red email from finish okay so now it is validated to have a dot com or dot in or dot in or uh, dot scott but if you forget to add dot domain then it will it will alert you okay so thank you for watching this video uh, so subscribe the channel thank you